We've had probably the quickest deflation period of all time in Pet Simulator 99 today. And it seems like prices are finally beginning to stabilize and we are going to see another inflation period very soon. I recorded my last video about eight hours ago at this point, and we've been on a complete roller coaster ride ever since then. Before my video even went live, deflation began to absolutely decimate the market, and I wasn't able to sell my huges for even three to four million below wrap. By the time the video came out, people were selling their huge happy computers for 21 million diamonds and below which is over 6 million diamonds less than what the current wrap value was at the time. As you guys can see here, we have the huge happy computer at 22.2 million wrap, and then the huge happy rock at 22.4 million. When I uploaded that video, we were sitting at 27.8 million wrap for the rock and 27.6 million for the computer. So in an eight hour time span, we've seen the wrap values of these things drop by over 5 million diamonds which I'm pretty sure is the biggest deflation period that we've ever seen in Pet Simulator 99. Clearly in my last video, my interpretation was not accurate. I thought it would be a smaller deflation period and go for a longer period of time. But right now we're actually seeing the deflation pretty much end and we're beginning to see all huges for wrap value and below sell out instantly. So this is pretty much the signs that we usually get that inflation is about to begin. I do think that the wrap value is still going to go down for the happy rock and the happy computer because the inflation seems to just be starting now. And we are about to see the wrap update in less than an hour. So because all of those sales that happened in the first three hours of this wrap update, we're probably going to see the effect of those sales play into the new wrap value. So I'm predicting in the next wrap update, that's in five hours from now, we will probably see the wrap values increase for both of these huges. Depending on if people begin really panic buying, in this last hour of this wrap update really will determine if we do see the wrap value go up. But just because of how severe the selling was in the first three periods, it's just most likely that we're going to see this fall by either 100k or maybe even 200k. But in the wrap update at 1 a.m. Eastern, we will probably see the prices of these begin to rise once again. Hopefully you guys that saw the last video were able to sell your huges before things plummeted completely. Honestly, I didn't get to sell my huges. As you guys can see, I actually have even more huges than I started with. I think I only sold a total of like five to six of my huges before prices were just absolutely so cheap it didn't make sense anymore. I sold a decent amount of them for like 24 million probably on average. Once prices seemed to hit the rock bottom, I bought a bunch of these for around 21 million. So we did make some good profit there and we were able to pick up even more huges for the team. As you guys can see here, I have more huges than I know what to do with. So the only logical thing is to give some of these away in the Discord. So that's what we're going to be doing this week. I'm going to try to figure out a fun way to do that. But we're going to have to see. Because it's most likely that we are going to see the wrap value decrease slightly again for the happy computer and the happy rock. In this next wrap update at 9 p.m. Eastern, that's probably going to be the best time to buy some of these huges. You're going to want to look for them at wrap value or below, obviously. Because it's most likely that we are going to see this inflation hit back again. It seemed to me that that deflation period was just purely caused by panic. Again, it was the craziest deflation I've ever seen. I've never seen the real price of an item drop that quickly and people begin panicking. It really was only inevitable though that the prices do go back up because everybody was selling their huges, but there was nothing really for them to spend those diamonds on that they were selling the huges for. So they had to put them back into something. It really only makes sense for them to begin buying once again. It does seem like in the next few days leading up to update 7 that we are going to see some crazy price movements in the market like we saw today. Maybe not as intense as we saw today because that was insane. I'm not even 100% sure what that was caused by. I just really don't see how we could make less diamonds than we are now in this new update. So to me, it just seems like there's no way to stop the inflation that is coming unless Big Games really does implement some sort of good diamond sink into the game that really takes the diamonds out of the economy, especially for the mega rich people. 
But if you want to keep track of those market movements for the Happy Computer and the Happy Rock, we cover that pretty closely in our Discord, and obviously we have daily giveaways on there, so that's a bonus. But truly, that's just the only way I can get information out to you guys as quick as possible, because as you can see, we can see a massive deflation period in the span of eight hours, and that's just way too quick to be pumping out a video in enough time so that you guys know when to be selling and buying things let's go over other stuff that has moved since the last market analysis video as you guys can see the chess mimic has dropped about 10 million so nothing too crazy for this price boss chess mimic has dropped about 10 million as well the price of this thing is really depending on whether or not they take this out of the exclusive shop in the new update i'm not really sure they are i haven't seen any leaks about any new enchants so it really is just a gamble whether or not they take this out of the exclusive shop because this being in the exclusive shop is basically limiting how expensive it's going to be because as long as people can just buy this anytime they want for Robux, the price of this can't exceed a certain amount because people will just go ahead and begin buying it from the exclusive shop just so they could sell it for those diamonds essentially keeping the supply of it constantly going up and that's why the price of this will never reach the price of the chest mimic as long as it's in the exclusive shop diamond chest has been taking a hit as well as the lucky block and the massive comment overall though i think people were just selling these things in order to buy more huges when they were super cheap so that's probably why we're going to see the big hits to the prices of these things the eggs actually did not take much of a hit since the last update that i showed you the fruit egg has actually gone up since then, so if you do like investing in eggs, the emoji egg seems to be the pick for now. And besides all that, one thing I did forget to mention is that the magic shard method slash the bucket of magic method is beginning to work now. If you could find these for wrap value, you can combine them in the magic machine to make these huge potions and make a little bit of profit on them. And then if you don't have the achievement, you can get that achievement and then get a free overload charm, which is worth 6.69 million. Not a bad deal. Just thought I'd mention it. Right now, you can't flip it too much, but currently the Bucket of Magic is a better deal than the Magic Shard. So just keep a close eye on these huge potion prices. If this goes up at all or if those items begin to go down even more, then it is going to be pretty lucrative to do this method once again. I would definitely keep this in mind on Friday as we go into the huge party event because the huge potion prices usually begin to skyrocket during that time. Just something to keep in mind. Overall though, that's pretty much it for this video. I just wanted to update you guys just so you know that we are kind of seeing that shift from that big deflation period we just saw into an inflation period. But it's important to keep in mind with how quickly the deflation came, the deflation could move just the same and people could begin panic selling once again. But I'll probably be asleep by that time. So make sure you're watching the market closely if you can. I think it's still likely that we are going to see inflation back to going crazy like it was before leading up to this new update. Again, the new update's just going to bring more and more diamonds into the economy. So to me, I don't see a way that inflation doesn't happen after this new update. Our only hope at this point is that the new clan system is actually a good diamond sink that can take some diamonds out of the economy and stop inflation. But at this point, it's just a gamble. If you appreciate this type of content, please subscribe to the channel and like the video. Thank you guys so much for the support. I hope this stuff helps you and peace out.